Residents of Al Asa, a small town in Dogua Tembe in southeastern Tigray, say that the Amhara Fano and Eritrean troops who have committed heinous crimes on Tigrayans are still present in parts of the region. And their existence in Tigray territory is obviously hampering the full implementation of the peace deal signed between the federal government of Ethiopia and Tigray regional government. <laughs> It's true that Tigrayans have been in distress for more than two years. Many have been killed and massive properties looted. Hence, the peace deal is crucial for the people and we really support it. However, its implementation has been slow as the Eritrean forces and the Amhara militants have not withdrawn from Tigray yet. We appreciate the peace deal our government signed with the federal government. But if the peace deal is to be implemented fully, the invading forces should withdraw from Tigray immediately. Genocide has been committed here. Our properties have been looted and all public infrastructures were destroyed. Even though there are promising beginnings, we still demand the resumption of all basic services and the returning of IDPs to their homes. Generally, the atrocities committed on Tigrayans are far too many, including sexual violence and summary executions. In addition to that, all facilities that were rendering services to our people have been destroyed. The progress so far in the implementation of the peace deal hasn't met our expectation yet. The invading forces are still present in Tigrayan soil and committing crimes. The residents also underscored that perpetrators of crimes of Tigray should be held accountable and justice must be served to the victims to assure lasting peace in the region. As the people of Tigray have been slaughtered and their property looted, they deserve compensation and justice must be served to them. Those who have committed atrocities in Tigray must be held accountable. It is the only way to assure sustainable peace and repay the people in Tigray. The invading parties are still committing genocide and crimes on us.